Hi guys, it's Azim again from Netscore.com. In the past video tutorial, we implemented uh, server for our room based chat and uh, in this video we will test our server. So this was the diagram that we used to understand functionality of our room based chat server. First we will try to test this workflow where we will join to our server we will pass uh, these events and then we will send message to our server and uh, we will see if we get this message to relevant circuits or clients so to simulate this i have these three different users first let's uh, go to terminal and Let's find our server cd node source server. Then we can run our room chat.js file. Listening on this port, let's type this here localhost 6800. Let's copy this. Let's connect we are connected connect again and we are connected with these different sockets now let's emit this event uh, this event to our server event we should fire this event from our socket And the data we are expecting is room. So we will send room that we want to join Java. Same with the this socket. We'll join Java from this socket, and from this socket we will join different room C plus plus. Okay, let's join this room and join all so from this user we join java room from this user we joined uh, java room and from this user we joined c plus plus room so we are done with this part now let's send message to our server with this data message and room if we go to our server we are emitting message event with room and message we will pass message event uh, with object which will contain room property and message property room we want to send message to java room and the message that we want to send is hi how are you let's copy this json object edit json paste it here and this is message object we are emitting this message event to all connecting sockets in this room so we should listen for message event on our socket as well so we will listen message event because our server will send message from this user to all different sockets so we should listen that event as well now let's uh, try this fire this event so this user receive it and this user shouldn't receive it because this user joined c++ chat room let's send this message to c++ chat room let's send it again now in this case uh, this user will not receive uh, but 
here we got our message so that was our message event functionality now let's uh, test this typing and stop typing again we will send room from our client and listen for typing event or stop typing event typing room is this and uh, we can just remove this property from here and we should listen for this typing event in all clients let me clear it clear it as well and clear it as well now let's uh, send typing event to this room here we got nothing and here we got typing event with our data that we send from our server someone is typing perfect now let's try to send this the typing event to java room and it's java all small letters and in our java room we call this typing event as well now the last event that i we want to test is this stop typing so again we will listen for this event in all connecting sockets because our server will fire this event perfect and we got typing event in this socket so with that our server is ready and uh, tested as well i hope you guys enjoy this video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching